Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, my Pokemon hacking tutorials. Part from a free now, advanced map, probably a very, well, it is a very helpful tool. Probably one of the most helpful if you're going to make a full length hack, and it's just fun to mess around with anyway. So I haven't uh, uploaded a video in a while, I've been trying to do something else, it's just taken a while. Right, so firstly, you're going to have to open the advanced map. I've just got mine on my desktop, but you have to go to your uh, documents. Make sure you've extracted the file as usual. Click this icon here or go to load ROM. Um and we have to get to your ROM. Just gotta find it. Thank you. Um <coughs> that one. Is it this one? Sorry, I'm just trying to find it. Oh no, it's videos. Video tutorial ROM. This one here. Okay, sorry about that. <coughs> sorry if I sound a bit croaky or anything. Okay, so that's you got all of these here, downside. Firstly, you get from header from I and I map files. From header basically gives you a load of numbers. I'm using Pokemon Fire Red, so it'll be different if you're using Ruby or Sapphire. This one gives you the uh, uh, I don't know what language it is, German or something. Is the towns? I don't I don't use these. Map files is a map files you've made on the computer. I'll talk about that in the next when I get to it. So you can click from header, and you can sort by bank map, map name, tile set number tileset grouping or mix map name and tileset. I go bank dot map. So example zero here, see in the department. So 0, 0.0 is just a random one, that's not part of the in the department. See the department so I don't know why it's really called Seal in the Department. This is all the trade areas. So I don't know why it's called Seal in the Department store. Viridian Forest, it's obviously Viridian Forest. Settings down here, loads of settings. Show sprites. I'll talk about that in the next video. Uh, you want to go viewing size. I've got doubled map view size, doubled movement, and doubled events. It gives you this. I'll just turn all of these off. See it? And there you go. It's Viridian Forest. Right. So it's your Mount Moon, SS Hand, loads of those. Okay. So you just want to browse around until you find the map. I, I'm going to edit Pallet Town, as most people do. Right. So map here so on the side here you've got a load of different tiles as we call them in the business <laughs> joke anyway load of different tiles but before you start making your map maybe if you want it a bit longer or a bit wider yeah say if you want it a bit wider i'm going to talk about header in another video but quickly go to header come down you see here bottom right map dimensions map width map width map height so you can change that so let's make the map width 50 and map height 40 change dimensions okay see and then here there, here we have a bigger map okay now we've got this big big backspace so that's not very much help because we just glitch around if we walk in there so let's click select this normal green one and start coloring in obviously that's not gonna that's gonna take us a while so little trick if you have a roller on your mouse press the middle roller and it'll fill all of the stuff that's the same tile just do that as well Okay, so say here we got all this stuff here. So now, the next thing we're going to want to do is get rid of this tree here. Let's get rid of these trees there. Okay, let's put a bottom of this tree. Here's your trees, different trees for different things. As you can see, you've got like one that connects to a tree above it. So there's different tiles, there's different tile sets. I might make another video showing you all the different tile sets. So I'm just putting a bottom in on these trees. And in another video called Advanced Tools for Adma Advanced Map, I will be showing you an advanced tool. Actually, I might show you now, okay? So say you got here, say we want to replicate these this line of trees all the way down. So let's just do three trees, or let's just do it on here, actually. On here, say I want to do, okay, let's just make a tree anywhere. Here we'll do. Okay. Yeah, and let's just get that to go there. Let's get that okay. So that's the middle tree. See so block here or block anywhere. Okay. So say you want to replicate that all the way down here. Where you do that is you hold down Control, right click on the first tile, and bring it down to the last here. And you see here's the window. Little window comes up. It's called Grosser Block. And now wherever you click a tile. The, t the way you click, the tile will spread out, kind of like Microsoft Excel. Anyway, so if I click here, I get that there. 
probably sits in the wrong place at the moment. So click there, click there. Oops, wrong place. Click there. See, we could do this all the way down. So that's one little trick. It's really going to help you. And then say if we want to do loads more, lots of them at once. Hold on, control. Remember. Something else we get. There we are. And then let's click there, and it goes all the way down. And up there, and it goes all the way down. So now and then you can also right click anywhere on the map to give you the right tile tile you want so we give that we've got to get a bottom for this tree here let's make this pool here a bit bigger so we're just gonna link from this down here just down here some tiles can be it can be difficult to remember where tiles so certain tiles are if you just start out but as you progress and get better and you learn more about the program, you will learn more. Okay? Oops, that's wrong. So, yeah, basically, you can do loads of stuff. In this one, I'm just going to show you the first two parts across the top. So, watch my next video, which I hope is coming out soon. Probably today, hopefully. So, yeah, where's that one gone? See, I, I'm still having trouble finding the number, it takes me ages. Uh, no. Okay, um, might take me a while here. I'm using the wrong type of C because this is kind of a C tile for C and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, that's wrong. Let's just make that there. See, that's what sometimes can happen. So, can't really undo. So, I'm just going to do this. Alright, then let's just get that tile again. Bring it along here. There we are. It could be difficult to find tiles sometimes. It might take you a while to get used to this thing. I know I keep saying that over and over again, but it will maybe annoy you a bit. Okay, guys, I'm kind of like not on a live recording now. I've, it was a video ran over, so I have to speed up. Anyway, I'm just going to carry on talking about what it was. So basically, yep, I'm just mecking around with this map now. I can't bother to perfect it. I just want to show you guys how to use it. It's very simple to use. I know I'm sounding posh there. I'm just trying to impress you. I'm joking. Right, okay. So, just do whatever you want with this map. I will make better tutorials. It's just a quickie to show you how to start off and stuff, you know. So, yeah. The uh, grocer block is a pretty cool thing to do. Also, right click to select the tile. It's easy. Right, I'm just going to finish off here and show you the next tab, which is moving positions for missions. I'm just going to tell you the ones I mainly use. Zero is just a universal, you can go anywhere. One is you can't walk into it, so you don't want to walk into a house or a tree, do you? C is just like height one, there's those different height levels, like for like hills and that, you know, mountains and stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, you've got loads of height levels like that. Then you've got four, which is the ability to surf on it. You have to be able to, you have to surf to do it. But the thing is, if you have your one block, I'm going to leave a one block space here. For example, one block zero here, just here. If I then walk in there and then just walk off the path onto the fours, it will it won't like stop me going. So just want to save it with a little icon. I'm just going to open up in um, Visual Boy Advance now. Right, I'm using my proper editing device now, so, okay. I'm just going to zoom it forward to where we get to start. Here we are. Right, I'm just going to show you the stuff we got last did last time, or a ticket. Let's have a look at that, because I'm going to actually show you. So it's legit. Well, not legit, because I hacked it, but anyway. I'm packing the pallet down. Oh, what's happened? Oh, strange water. Oh, what, Route 21. That's because it hasn't got fallen on Route 21, so we can walk on it. Our strange little hill thing that's exactly the same height as our uh, normal stuff so yeah we're gonna walk on there see if we can go anywhere now oh we're gonna have a battle Rakers are yep we'll go down route 21 let's go muck about a bit can't actually walk on islands because you're not at the same height as the islands kind of we well, can't get off anyway i don't know why you just can't so we're gonna go along have a little battle here yeah i'm just gonna own this guy because we've got a level 100 Rakers are so he's gonna get pwned yeah so you might want to muck around a bit because it's pretty hard to get the hang of at the, at the start but it's really good to use you need to learn the, your tile sets really low where the tiles are. Sorry, I'm tired. 
anyway. Yeah, we owned him. You see, we can't get on Cinnabar. If I just messed around with a couple more maps, I could complete. You can complete the Pokemon League in a couple of seconds. So yeah, pretty cool. Make a video of that actually. So next time, I'm going to explain the events, Wild Pokemon, and Hello. Bye.